Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bracelet like this using Grasshopper. First of all, I want you to download and install this plugin here and also this plugin Wavebird. You can find Wavebird online, it's free. However, the original author of here didn't publish it online, but if you want to get it, just ask him directly. I have put both his WeChat and RedNote account down in the description. Once you ask, he will give it to you for free for sure. So let's start. First of all, let's start by making a circle. I'll put 3.5 inches as its radius, and then I'm gonna make a copy, select it again, make a copy again, select all the curves, type in loft, choose closed loft, and then you get it. The next thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna go to try remesh and uh, bring this wrap into this component. I'm gonna hide everything. And here is the length of those triangles. And this is a iteration. I'm gonna change the length to 0 0.5. And the iteration, I'm gonna lower it to 10 to make sure that it's not gonna take forever. And then bring this in. You will see that this looks a little bit awkward because the length is too much. So I'm gonna just lower it a little bit, maybe 0 0.3. This looks better. Let's go from here. And let's go back to here. And uh, the next thing I'm gonna use is this component called mesh frame. This component connects the center of each triangle that we have just created. And uh, we can change the size of the opening by putting a different number here. I'm gonna start from 0 0.222, bring it in. Let's just adjust it just a little bit. This looks great. The next thing I'm gonna use is a tool over here, quad subdivision. This is gonna change the subdivision of each mesh, make it more smooth. I'm gonna hide this. This is what we're gonna get. And of course, we are going to change the subdivision level, maybe to two. And right now, if we choose zero, it will make it smooth, which is great, exactly what we want. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to WaveBird and find this tool called Mesh Thicken. So basically give a thickness to this mesh. Right now it's too big. So I'm gonna change it to 0 0.111, zoom it in. If it's still too thick, let's lower it just a little bit. This looks great. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Vaybird subdivision. So basically smooth this out. And then I will hide everything else. I will bake it. Now you can get a very cool bracelet that has a lot of hexagons and pentagons inside. If we turn on the e-map, you will see that this looks very legit. You can print it out using steel and you can apply this method to make all kinds of different jewelries and uh, surfaces. Thank you so much for your attention and I'm looking forward to see you in our next tutorial.